In this video, we are going to see how to track create limit order transactions, cancel limit order transactions, and also cancel expired limit order transactions on Jupyter in real time. We will use BitQuery's Jupyter API to achieve this. All the API links and BitQuery Telegram channel link will be in the description. Navigate to id.bitquery.io and register first as a developer to get free points to run queries. I have already done that, so I am going to directly jump on the API examples. Firstly, we will need to know which program method is invoked to create limit order, cancel limit order, and also to cancel expired limit orders on Jupyter Aggregator. Now we'll create an API which will give us all the methods of Jupyter limit order program. Select EAP first. EAP is our early access program and it is the endpoint which gives us Solana data. EAP only has real time data as of now. To get all the methods, select Solana, then instructions, then in where we will select instruction and under program address, we'll specify the Jupyter limit order address. You can get the address from SoulScan. Now we'll select the fields we need info on. Select instruction and under that program and then method. And then we'll also select count. Count will group the same methods. And now we'll get the number of times each method was invoked, past 8 hours or so, because the data is only real time. Now run the query and you will see the initialize order, cancel order, and also cancel expired order program method. This is the method to initialize orders. This is the method to cancel orders. And this is the method to cancel expired orders. Now we are going to write an API to track limit order creations on Jupyter in real time. Select Solana, then instructions, and then select where, and then instruction program address, and then this specify Jupyter limit order address. We will also specify the method as initialize order. We have also initialized the method as initialize order. And now we will also put one more condition, which is going to be transaction result success to be true because many transactions are failing right now on Solana network. Now we'll select the fields we need data about. Select the transaction signature, block time, and then we are going to select instruction and under that ancestor indexes, balance updates count, call path, caller index, data, depth, external SQL number, index, internal SQL number, logs, and then under program, we'll select account names and also arguments. Under arguments, we need to select name, type, and value and under that, We'll need to select all the data types. We're also going to select the account addresses here. Also is writable, also the token details. Now we're going to run this query and this API will help us track the newly created limit orders. You can see this accounts array. These addresses directly corresponds with these account names respectively. You can also get these addresses from the response, which is what is the output meant, which is the input meant, maker input account, maker output account, What's the order address, reserve address, maker address, base address. You can also get the making amount and taking amount. Now we are going to track cancel limit order transactions on Jupyter in real time. We'll just need to change the method to cancel order. Everything else is going to be the same. Here I have already run the query. This is the sample response. You can get the order account, reserve account address, maker account address. You can get the input mint token address. To track the latest cancel expired limit orders, We'll just need to change this method to cancel expired order. We'll be able to track our cancel expired limit orders. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and head over to our Telegram channel if you have any doubts.